These are the crazy culture differences between France, Russia, Vietnam, and Puerto Rico. According to me. Yeah. Ah! Great! That was a great shot! It's my very first vlog and I'm very excited to share with you my insights about my trip in Puerto Rico. So, let's start! Right now I am in Dallas, last plane to Puerto Rico. I can do it. Ah! Losing my notebook. Uh, so, three, two, one. Speaking about the travel, I traveled from Ho Chi Minh City to San Juan, Puerto Rico. It took me about 27 hours and three planes to come here. I traveled with Japan Airlines and American Airlines. And you know what? I was very, very well surprised about to these two airlines. First of all, Japan Airlines, you have enough space for your feet, you have an amazing meal, you even have soup. You have miso soup. I never had soup on a, on a plane, any kind of plane, not even business class before. And then I switched to American Airlines in Dallas. One funny thing is that in Dallas, I had to go out, you know, to do security check and I saw this thing with the dogs, like the security agent was checking randomly people with a dog, very unique for me. I arrived at 1 a.m. without luggage, without boyfriend, in a new country. Amazing trip, amazing trip. But besides that, my trip was great, it was great. I felt very fresh, you know, when I arrived. Yeah. When I compare my trip, when I travel from Vietnam to France or Vietnam to Russia, it only takes me about 15, 16 hours. Only two planes, it's pretty easy, pretty smooth. But here, because of the length of the trip, when I arrived here, my sleeping schedule was totally destroyed. Like, for a few days, I had to go to bed, can you imagine, at 6 p.m., latest at 8 p.m. and I would sleep until 6 a.m. the day after. That's how my body was tired. It's a big, I would say, stress for your body. So make sure if you make uh, the decision to travel, just make sure to rest on the plane as much as you can. And when arriving, just allow your body to recover. And now I'm totally fine. We have a lot of hours with difference in Vietnam. Maybe you can write here. Yeah, maybe it's written here. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's difficult, but it's not so bad. You can do it. I did it, so you can. Come on. And it's totally worth it. Remember I told you that my luggage didn't make it on time? The reason is, I asked five employees of American Airlines, should I register my luggage again in Dallas? And they said, no, this is an international flight, so your luggage will follow you to your destination, which is Puerto Rico. But the truth is, Puerto Rico is part of the United States. It's not a nation, it's not a country, it's not a state. It's, wait, I took a, it's, it's a colony. Can you imagine? It's a colony. I cannot believe that I am actually traveling in an actual colony. Like Vietnam used to be colonized by the, the, by the French, right? But it's not anymore. It's a country, it's a nation, it has like its own rules and so on. But here, it's like being in a territory that is in between being a state and being its own country. And one thing that I found really interesting is that the United States do not have their own official language. But Puerto Rico has Spanish as an official language. And being a part of the United States and have a different language, it, it's extremely disturbing, I'm telling you. And when I ask locals about this specific uh, situation regarding the US and the independence of Puerto Rico, answers are very mixed. And I'm not going to go on that way. The thing that I want to highlight here is really the specificity of Puerto Rico compared to France, Russia, Vietnam, and I think it's something you should you should Google. I don't want to say I don't want to say mis miscommunication information, but yeah, really interesting. And the currency here is the dollar. The official language is Espanol, is Spanish, and it's just so amazing to me because I learned Spanish at school, and it's one of the languages that I can speak. But unfortunately, in Saigon, I cannot practice it, and also in France, it's very rare to find some Spanish folks to practice i don't even start with russia obviously but it just for me just so refreshing to be able like to learn and practice some espanol and people are very like happy to talk to speak the language i noticed a few times i try to talk to people in english and they'll be like no 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 
And whenever I started to speak Espanol, they're just like, oh yeah, they're more helpful. Obviously, we understand each other better. But yeah, the language is really great, especially if you want to practice or learn Espanol. And even if you don't, I think it's it's totally fine. You will be totally fine with just English, but if you speak or if you enjoy speaking Espanol, you will be very well here. One thing that I was really amazed and I was really surprised to be surprised because as a person who lived in Russia, France, living in Vietnam, I'm used to see different kinds of people, you know, all kinds of people. But here, oh my God, it's like you see all colors, shapes, styles, smiles, expression. It's just so rich. It's just such a pleasant experience really to be out, to go to music festivals, to go to musical events, ju just events in general too. Make sure we get everybody. Hi, Hi. Look at the people because it's so different from what I've ever seen in all the countries that I lived and again it's part of this uh, mix uh, in the past obviously through, um, through the history and like people but it's yeah it's something like I have no words I think it's you need to watch the the images that I took to see and one thing again that I, I want to emphasize is how important it is to the people to see that as a foreigner you try to make an effort to speak in their language and it's something that I can see it's like a recurrent thing in all the countries where I live, especially in Vietnam when a foreigner make an effort to speak the local language. Các bạn ơi, cho mình hơi là theo các bạn là vì sao người Việt cười rất là nhiều. Oh my god, it's just you, you just, it's so much easier. It's, it's such a source of joy for the locals and for yourself, for myself as well, to be able to connect. Like I connected with this very old gentleman who ended up singing the French anthem, which by the way, in you much better than I did, but... Again, it's such a great opportunity here to look at different kinds of people to talk with them to connect with them and i think that's what make my trip really unique it's the amazing people the amazing local people that i found here special things the gems of puerto rico especially of puerto rican culture first thing is actually funny fun fact is that all puerto ricans have a chair that they carry in their car look at me hello they carry this chair to go to the beach to go to some cultural events to go to music festival but it's something so normal to take your chair in the middle of the street and just like enjoy some festivities like i never saw this in france russia not even in vietnam where people are like kind of comfortable you know but so so funny you know and at the same time so handy and so smart you can have a little cerveza, fantastic. Which leads me to step to another funny thing that I found here, which is how easy it is to drink. Like all occasions are for drinking. Like I'm telling you, I... Within five, my first five days here, I think I drank more beer than I drink in a month in Vietnam. And it's about old people it's not just like young people you know like i'm talking about like older people like festive like there is this idea that yes there is alcohol but there is like local alcohol that you can find here which is like really amazing by the way but there's a sense of joy like the third thing that i find amazing about puerto rico very special is this sense of joy the sense of being very proud of the culture here proud of the music <laughs> proud of ourselves it's like I see a lot of people with the flag on the cap or like flag at home it's really the sense like people try to preserve the culture to to talk about it to export it and again being a traveler being a foreigner here I, I can really feel that I had the opportunity to go to this music festival organized in honor of a musician and composer and songwriter Tito Matos who is a big figure of the Puerto Rican culture and music and I was just so amazed to see how people connect through music how they enjoy music and people of all ages you know like Russian, French, 
even Vietnamese, we do not have this uh, appreciation for music. Like, whereas here, music is for all occasions. For I just feel so grateful to be here. The weather is same as Vietnam, same as Ho Chi Minh City. Totally the same heat. Uh, the same difficulty for me to breathe in the middle of the day and therefore it's very nice to go for a swim so I'm not feeling very like difference or like temperature shock between Vietnam and uh, and Puerto Rico perfect but if I compare to France and Russia of course obviously it's a totally different planet it's a tropical climate it's uh, it's very hot it's very hot so if like me you like hot temperature please come here uh, if not you also can come here but just try to not go out in the middle of the day yeah stay safe because i tried to go out and it was very hot, it was very hot. we needed this. this food speaking about the food here i was very surprised uh to discover the food because it's wait i took notes I took notes because a lot to say the food is a mix between ingenious Spanish and African food because Puerto Rico was an influence of all of this and what I found interesting is it's very flavorful it's very rich but it's not spicy it's not too too salty uh, so far I tried a lot of uh, fried food food made from platina, platina from the ban banana here for the green banana here seafood meat uh, yeah, so it's, it's very rich and very unique, you know. If we compare it to Vietnam, there is not as much like vegetables and soup as we can find in Vietnam. But it's getting a bit closer on the Russian side for me because here the way people eat banana, it's like in Russia we eat potatoes. So yeah, and a lot of meat, seafood, also clams. Oh my God, I tried the clams, guys. This is amazing. This is so refreshing. But you know, one thing uh, that is a bit minus, I'm going to talk about it later. It's actually the price here. So now let's talk about the price. This morning I had the opportunity to eat uh, McDonald's, to eat breakfast at McDonald's, which is about $5 here. So if you live in Vietnam, you know that $5 is about 100K. It's kind of a lot for breakfast that you can have pan mi and a cafe soda for like everything for like two, 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 three dollars, two dollars maximum, two dollars maximum. But here, everything that is expensive in Vietnam will be cheap here, but the, and the opposite, Jesus, I'm losing it. So my point is to say that I find things be quite expensive because of this story, you know, the special status of Puerto Rico. And also, obviously, the, the island has suffered from COVID, like many other places. But to give you an idea, like yesterday, I was at the music festival and a simple lemonade, not even with alcohol, seven dollars it's just water with lemon and sugar like what the hell uh, another very interesting example we took a dozen of clams uh, fresh clams 27 dollars in a very simple very simple place nothing fancy or like we bought two uh, like a co coconut let's talk about co coconut here you know in vietnam on the street you can buy it for what for half a dollar right here, coconut's like three dollars, and it's something like very simple, not a fancy place, something super, super uh, basic, I, I would say, on the street. So I'm really shocked, you know, because it's part of the United States, but when you come here, it feels like you're an island, it's, it's another culture, but prices are still like in the United States, or even more, I don't know, but yeah, prices wise, you need to have a little bit, you need to be prepared or cook at home. Cook at home is very nice as well. Mm. So Puerto Rico is an island that is full of natural beauties. You have the beaches. By the way, Puerto Rico has most of the, what has some of the most beautiful beaches on the planet, true story. And also it has some mountains, some jungles. It's really surprising. It's really green it's very natural so you feel you have this feeling you know when you travel outside Ho Chi Minh City when you travel across Vietnam of being like with the nature close to the nature well it's the same here oh my god see the nature is talking to us talking to me guys I love the nature here so make sure to come to check for yourself <laughs> 